Hey guys, welcome back to another Flesh and Blood video. Uh, today we're doing a little bit more Nats testing. Um, this is Boost Dash versus Katsu. Um, I've never really tried to play Control Dash versus Katsu, but I feel like it wouldn't go very well. Um, normally, anytime they're like an aggro deck that you know try and it's trying to use mask of momentum, Control Dash doesn't. It just doesn't fit the bill. I feel like so we're playing aggro dash into it. Um, I mean, I you know, in the past, I feel pretty good about the matchup. I've played Dissolution Sphere in the past, you know, to help deal with Viserai at times, and it also happens to be good in Akatsu. So uh, we're not on that right now, but Dissolution Sphere is a good card if you're playing Dash and you have a he uh, Katsu or Viserai heavy meta. <clears throat> um, I always feel pretty good about the matchup, but, you know, uh, Billy is a good player, and we played a really tight game. Um, so, uh, I don't know, it was a pretty good game, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, thanks for stopping by, and I hope you enjoy the video, guys. And you said you're gonna play Katsu? Yeah, Katsu. Okay. I think I'm forced to just raise Katsu. Um. Yep, yeah, I'll go... Second. I think I'm supposed to just race you as well, but I don't know if I should. That. Alright, I'm gonna run to the bathroom real quick. I'll be back in just a second. Okay. All right, you ready? Yep. All right, and I'm going first. Yes, sir. All right. Well, it's a bad thing about Kotsu, he does he cannot sit up, so. <laughs> I mean, that's fair. Nope, no reactions. Block the air. Hmm. I'm in for two now. Block there. Yep. Make it five. That's pretty good. Leak a little damage. Yeah, no, it was pretty good. Oh, no, not the T bone. <laughs>
Yeah, that's fine. Oh! <laughs> yeah. I can yeah, having T bone oh. is so good. Oh. Uh, oh. All three of those are going to break. <sighs> All right. Yeah, I was like, I'm honestly interested to see what you give me here. I think that's the best option I have with my hand. Um, and I won't boost for that three. That's fine. Pretty Arsenal good turn. That. Yeah, wasn't bad. Wasn't bad. It was pretty good. Yeah. Me and Billy are playing Fab Online right now. Fab Online or? Like the Flesh and Blood Online client. Oh, you can play a person? Yeah, you can play against random people on this thing. You can play against your friends. Like, this thing is this thing is awesome. This, yeah. thing, this thing is far superior to... Um, tabletop? Yeah, tabletop. Thank you. I was, like, having a stroke. Alright, you ready for this turn? <laughs> oh, God, no. And you pick... Oh, that means, and you have one floating, which means you could have Razor or Rapid Reflex right here. <laughs> which is terrifying. Man, and this is a mask? Lord. Mm -hmm. Lord. I mean, I think this is the correct thing to do. Yep. It's like I gotta force you to have it. Yep. You've taken how much this turn? You've taken... One, two... Were you gonna pop Snapdragons right there? No, no, it's fine. Trying to find the river. One, two. How much have I, I taken? We hit second? four. You're taking four. Okay, I was like two Kadachis and then two off of the E strike. Yeah. What's the what are the what are the odds? You know what? Let's find out. Okay, the odds are not good. I was like, man, I do not <laughs> feel like that is a high percentage you are playing with right now. Uh, nope, and these are terrible, so that's fine. Did you? Okay, gotcha. Yep. Um, so my turn is going to be play this, pitching these to get another tech little pounder, then pass to you. Tech little pounder, okay. I assumed you didn't mean to pass to me. Oh, no. Yeah, sorry. I thought it was... <laughs> no, it's good. Because uh, I just get to hit undo and then gotcha. do that again. There we go. Okay. Um... So, double strike. All right. Card's so obnoxious. <laughs> uh, no. I'm going for two. Yep. I'm not gonna lie, I really like the rapid reflexes in this deck. Yeah, I do too. Uh, then we'll do... for another seven. Oh, bro. You can leave me alone. That'd be cool. Um, yeah, I'll block seven. Alright, uh, you got that one. Pitch that to load the pistol. And then... Yeah, pull boost. Come in for ten. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I have to say, that's, like, the one thing I really like about Dash is that, like, I can just, like, block six every turn and just, like, basically do some nonsense like that. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, yeah, I'm good. Oh, 
Ho ho! Take ten, huh? Uh, no. Oh no! <laughs> Double wax on. Gosh, that's so good. I'll take four. Thank you. I was not expecting that. Uh, attack for two. Uh, yeah, take two. Yep, and I'll pass to you. Yep. Give an old surging for five. Ugh. Yo, what's up? Got it working. Hey, what's going on, brother? Not much. Oh, trying to fix the laptop. Sorry, I just saw that you said that. <laughs> You're good. Um, I messed around while I was waiting for it to work. I uh, messed around on Fab Online. I think I've got it down. It's very, it, it, very simple to understand. You just have to click that pass button quite a bit. Yes. But that's how, like, space that's bar how is Rintera also really is. good. Because Rintera yeah. has a similar stack and everything. So it's like, like there's this pass button. Because pretty much just like this game, every single time something happens, both players have a chance. Like in combat, you have a lot of chances to do things. So you just have to hit that pass button a lot if you don't have anything to do. Yeah, you have to really like pick up on like when to hit the pass button. Because me and Billy have passed <laughs> the turn back to each other like multiple times not meaning to. Yeah. Like That's hilarious. Um, also, was Surging Strike the last card you play? Ugh, yes, like, of course it was. Gosh, can you just leave me alone, bro? <laughs> um, I'll block for. Is there any way for me to? I can watch y'all's game, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should. I think you should still be able to click that link to, in the uh, chat here. Um, if like you go to the table, the open chat on on the uh, it should have the. I think you still click that join game there. It'll, yeah, it'll if you do that, it should let you spectate. If not, you can do it from the website, or if you want, I can just stream it to. Um, um what's the matchup? Uh, Katsu uh, in the dash. Yeah. I think I see it. Uh, 25 for dash, 24 for Katsu. Here. Yep. Yep. Okay. Right. Perfect. And he's got double pounder, so. Yep. <laughs> Rip Billy. <laughs> hey, I've been holding Sorry, my own Billy. pretty well. I was like, hey, that's Billy good. has a... Is there any way for me to see what y'all's cards are before you play them? No. no. Okay. There's not, like, I, I looked. There's not even a way for me yeah. to, like, turn it on. So that spectators can see it. Yeah. Big throttle. Yeah, I'll take that one. Good. Get your wax ons out of here. <laughs> I came in for ten a minute ago and Billy had double wax on. So secondary question, if I want to play with one of y'all, one of y'all like y'all just have to quit whatever you built and make a new lobby, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That doesn't take long, it looks like. No, it's yeah. very simple. I also like the way they sideboard. However, they have the same issue where, like, FabDB will do weird sideboarding crap for no reason. Where, like, it, like when I looked at it, it put my other Phoenix Flame, like, automatically in the main deck when it's technically supposed to be in the sideboard. But that's a FabDB thing, not a uh, Fab Online thing. Like, they can't really help that. Yeah, no, I mean, I was like, that's just, like, part of the... I was like, that's more of the DB, like, the deck building yeah. issue. What I figured out is that when you're sideboarding on FabDB, you have to... Sideboard it how you want, reload the page, see if anything changed, and then keep reloading the page and doing that until it stops shifting cards around. Okay. Um, and then it usually sticks. So. Yeah. Bro. Double strike again. Let's go, go away. <laughs> go away. I'm pretty sure that's true, Connor. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nope, it is a lot. God it have been. If you have that, it would have been busted if it was though. Hand, so yeah, right. they they were they were helping the game because they didn't oh. want spreading flames and stubbies and art of war to buff that to make it a zero for eight. Yeah, I was like, if you just have rapid reflex here, it'd be no. two times in a week. I was blown out because I couldn't read. Wait, you're running rapid? Yeah, it's awesome. I am. It's awesome. Is it really good? Three? Yeah, it's been really. I'm playing three. Yeah, block yeah, for three. I'm playing Rapid and Razor. It's it's been, it's been oh, so wow. good. That's toxic. And are you running Ancestral too? <laughs> That's toxic. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that is terrible. And Zach must be hating life. Yeah, it's been not that bad. Are you on a similar list that you were in the Armory we played, Billy? Yeah, a little. Uh, just a, a couple changes. Okay. Uh, no one ability. And I'm coming for a little two more. I think Ninja's awesome right now. I'm loving it. Yeah. 
Ninja's really fun to play. I, I love that the the Fi and the Calling was on Kadachis and like high blues and two costers and like he was on a whack list that was super cool and I really appreciated it. Wait, is that a high octane? Oh, yeah, I played high octane. Come on. <laughs> Zach's very good at finishing out a game with a high octane. Ugh. I'm good at being a luck sack. You're welcome. So, Zach, me and Blake were talking about like rating and stuff, and I think if I 3 0 my first pot at Nats, I'm in for Worlds. That's awesome, dude. Um, Especially, so if I make it to day two and I 2 1 the second pod, I'm like guaranteed for Worlds. However, if I 2 1 the first pod, I have to do well in the second pod because the difference between 3 0 ing and 2 1 ing. Oh, is you're like talking about points. your limited elo. Okay, I was like, why yes. do the five yeah. rounds not matter in between? But never mind, I, I understand now. Yeah. I'm pulling it up here. Yeah, so the Phi deck, the top aided, was on two Kadachis. He was on six. No, he was on nine even biggers. All nine? All nine. Uh, had, Phi? Yep. Interesting. Zero. Of the zero for three go against. Zero. How do you take one? Yep. He had, look, he had none of them. Flick Flack's so good. <laughs> Flick Flack is insane. Did you just say he has zero? Of Wait, no, the... he has Rising Resentment because that dis discounts stuff. He has Engulfing Flame Wave. Uh, snatches. He has Mounting Anger, Soaring Strike. So he has the one for fours. He has um, Ancestrals and Razors in there. Along with Take the Tempo. Um, he is on Sync Blow, which I think people are finally figuring out that Sync Blow is just insane and fi. Well, it um, is. He's on three E-Strike. Uh, his blues are all non-Traconic cards. He's got Fine Center and Winds of Eternity and Soul Be Beat Strike, which I will say this. I was told by Taylor the other day that there is a Fi on Fab Online that was running the Fine Center line. And he had a 74% like, win rate or something like that across a lot of games. So that Fine Center so... line in the blue slot is actually like, it's, it's popping up. And I don't know if this is the same guy. I don't know if there's any way to check that, but... It's pretty cool. <sighs> what? What am I looking at? Is that worth it here? I know one of those is coming up. I only have one of those left, but I do have... Do I still have two more of those in the deck? That can't be accurate. I also got three Command and Conquer. No, they're right there. Learn to read, Zach. Yeah, this seems like a good a time as any. Crack a life gauntlet. Uh-oh. Coming for three, go again. That's fine. Here it comes. Ugh. Eight, go again. I love it. Eight, go again. Well, I had a plan. So, Zach, what do you think of the list that won the calling? I mean... <laughs> Yeah. For the I, record, I think the Briar played really horribly uh, all game. Like, yes, I, I watched the finals match. I think the Briar played very not good, but um, he he did not understand his role in the matchup like whatsoever. No, not at all. And I have a feeling there were more than just that Briar player who did not understand what was happening. Um, I think that's very accurate, personally. Um. I mean, got both those equipment slots. That's good, but it's still scary that you have five cards. Oh, I have to pass yeah. again, because I can activate. You can shoot for six. Yeah, it's like I basically get to come in for six more here. Um, I'm going to be honest. Like, I think he just kind of took everybody by surprise, if you want the truth. Like, I think he probably took a lot of people by surprise and ended up winning games because of it. Um... Oh my gosh! I'm sorry, Billy. I keep forgetting get that I can. Uh, like I, I'm not. I, I'm actually not dogging like the list or the game plan at all. Talishar actually worked really well for the way he was playing the list. Well, I was like, well, for the way he had it set up, it was really good. Yeah. 
Um, I was like, I don't personally like Talishar, but again, that that's gameplay. Um, I even understood why he would play it over uh, Barrel Shot, because you can't hedge as hard as you can in Blitz towards Barrel Shot as you can in CC. Like you can't do, you can't dedicate that many slots to the Barrel Shot build, even though the Barrel Shot build is technically better for doing that. Um, I mean, I get to present him that way. So my hand's worth 13 points, and it says it's 12. So it's technically just better. And you don't have masks, so I'm not worried about that anymore. Yep. Katsu was the first attack action to hit me, right? Yep. We'll block three. Razor says cost one or less, right? Yes. Yeah. Cause and then uh, rapid is cost zero. Yep. Not a weapon, just in case you were wondering. Yep. Throwback to me punting. <laughs> Do you think it could hit Kadachis? No, I was talking about when I played against... Uh... God, it's so good. Yeah, I'm going to have to let that hit. Take the uh, tempo's a good Katsu card. Um, take the tempo's awesome. Uh, no, I'm it's talking so about when I played against Kadachis. Nathaniel in, uh, the, in the skirmish. I can't. Oh, right. I messed up. Mm. Oh, because you, you got. Did you accidentally. Did you accidentally. No. Chain? No. I just can't read cards, apparently. Oh, wait, wait, wait. wait. Uh, yeah, it's too late. Do you want to go back to your turn? I mean, I w it's it been a blind hit. So, I mean, I see what the card is now. So, it's kind of. Oh, kind of a little cheating. Yeah. Mm, that's fair. <laughs> a little cheating will do it. So. Wait, why do I have five cards? You have a card in arsenal. Oh no no no! no. It, it puts the uh, it puts the banish card I can play in my hand. Interesting. Makes sense. Just because that'd be awkward to deal with it in the banish zone. Okay, so Oof. I don't have a breakpoint card. I'm bluffing. Oof. <laughs> No, it's something else I'm thinking of. Um, ugh. um ugh. <laughs> I keep looking at the browse section of FabDB, and everybody's playing Kalashar in their dash list, and I'm like, you guys are morons. I'm like... And, and people people are playing plan. people are playing Talishar and Pistol on their list, which I think is interesting. And I'm like, you know what? Oh, I can at least understand that, that you're because he doesn't play aggro into Guardians. No, I know he's a, he's a swapper like you. Yeah, no, absolutely. He just has a different plan. Jason wasn't. Jason didn't have Pistol on his list. Yeah, he did. I didn't see it. It was in there. Oh, somebody must have posted oh. the wrong list then. I'll double check, but I'm almost positive. He had three induction chamber in there. So my next thing has dominate. What? Do you have a sink below, or are you just trying to get in my Oh, head? it's that! Oh, do you want to back up? Yeah, I forgot that's a dominate card. Okay. Yeah, I don't have it. I was sitting there, and in my head, I was like, mm, yeah. I was like, this feels like a trap. Yeah. Okay, that makes more sense. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, undo block. Did you hear that, Zach? What'd you say? No, I didn't hear you. So he's got he had three uh, he had th three pur purifiers, three chambers, and pistol, and he reacts. So he had complete swapsies. Yes. Yeah. Interesting. I mean, I respect it if you want the truth. Yeah. Like. He... Yeah, he's he's a swapper just like you. He just plays the aggro side of it differently. Than is you. that a is that a term? We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna coin. He, so. He's a swapper. They, they play, <laughs> I, you know, you know how I want to say it. 
There's there's some Dash players who are who are committers, and there's some who play both sides of the fence. I mean, I am a both sides of the fence kind of person because I think it is correct. Oh, oh lose it. I was saying, or lose it. <laughs> oh, I was like, where did that come from? You had no cards in your hand, but I forgot about take the tempo. Yeah. Oh, so this uh, basically has no text. It's just a zero for two. Zero for He's two. Gonna snap you and then come in for a zero for three. Yeah. I mean, hey. <laughs> Fear me. Yeah. If only you could pitch it for Kadachis. Yep. That would that feel didn't... real cool. Because yeah. then blues would feel stupid. Zipper hit. Um. Hmm. He also had one reinforce the line. Oh, that's good. Yeah. He was playing way more into max, max velocity than you. Um. The thing is, he was very. He was not shy to put items in his deck. Like, he was just going hard. He didn't even care about blocking. Like, if, if he didn't. I mean, to be fair, with Talishar on the list, if you don't get them blocking before Talishar goes away, you lose anyway, so... Oh, 100%. You got so, it. like... Okay, I didn't know if you had another D-React lined up in your... I did. Yeah. I was trying to keep... Okay, so, after the game, um, you, you really... The two things that stand out to me are the value you get out of having multiple Teclo Pounders and the value you get out of going second. Now, going second in any aggro matchup is there's just so much tempo. Like, it is just so good. There's so much tempo value out of that. Now, um, double Teclo Pounder is insane. Honestly, it really is. Like, I can't speak highly enough about having two, two to three Teclo Pounders on the field. It is so good. Um, because basically what that allows you to do every turn is block six and then attack for a double-digit number um, almost every turn. And that's just, that, like, that is just really good and it's really well positioned in the metagame right now. Um, and I, I really like that and it feels really solid to me. Um, you know, I feel favored into Katsu. That may not be a completely accurate, you know, uh, statement. You know, I don't know enough about the matchup. I've only ever played a few games with it. Um, I know it's very close and that Katsu has some very um, annoying lines and that flip, flick flack can help cover up some of my big turns. Um, but I don't know. I feel, I feel pretty good about the matchup. I like to play a little bit more. And so, I don't know. It seems like a good matchup. Um, but guys, thanks for stopping by and watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If there's any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. I'll see you next time.